Hello everyone, before we get started with today's video, I did want to let you know that I do plan on featuring some of the games I found in today's video in my next live stream. More details about that at the end of this video. Also, if this is your first time here or you just haven't done so yet, please remember to click on that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I make future posts. That said, let's go ahead and get started with some of the successes I've had during this crazy time that we're all living in, trying to game collect in the quarantine. Welcome to another episode of Retro Game Finds here on Player One Start. Despite the closure of many retro game stores and thrift shops, I have still been able to continue my game collecting journey. But with most of the physical game stores actually being closed, I had to move all of my game collecting online. And this has not been without its challenges as both postal carriers and retailers have stated that they will only be shipping or putting a priority on essential goods. And unfortunately, some have ranked video games and other entertainment media towards the bottom of their priority list. However, I was still able to get some of the items I've been looking for by going to places like eBay, Amazon, GameStop, and other online retailers. And since I can't show you footage of me going through physical retail stores looking for these products, I'm going to show you these products as they come in through the mail. Alright, so some of these games I've already unboxed, or unpackaged, I'm just going to go ahead and show these here. So this is On Rush for the PS4. This was recommended from another YouTuber that I follow, and it kind of reminded me of exactly what he said, kind of like the Motor Storm series. So I decided to go ahead and give this a try. The next game I got was Shadow Warrior. I believe this was a full retail purchase. This is another game that was recommended to me from that same YouTuber, looking at Xbox One games that were really cheap. Um, I'm sure you can find it online if you'd like. And the only thing I don't like is that, yeah, it looks like the shipping company was not as kind to it and cracked my case. But that's alright, I have some other cases if I'd like to. Wii Sports Club. I could not find this game anywhere. It is supposedly really rare. And I guess, because of that, it is quite expensive to get online these days. Um, I didn't get the best deal on this game, but I feel like since I got it, I think complete, I don't know if it really came with a manual or not, it's hard to tell on Wii U games, but I mean it looks like it's in good condition. The disc is in nice condition. Also in the Wii U collecting journey, another retail buy, but I bought this still used. It's sealed. However, it is pre-owned. So I'll have to open this up just to see what it's like, because that label is behind, if you can see that, the label is behind the shrink wrap. I found it cheap, that's why I got it on the Wii U trend. I got Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. I think this is going to work out great. What's great about buying these games, I didn't really mention this in the review, is that these are Blu-ray discs. So, even though they use a different file format, I think, these discs have that extra coding that all PS3, Xbox One, PS4 titles have to make them more resistant to scratches because it, it basically needs that in order to function. And I'm very glad that I can buy these without having to worry about it too much. I have come across some titles that haven't worked, but it has been very rare. So these are all the ones that I've already unboxed because they came on one day, and here is a package from another online order to deal with here. Aha! This sign Moria X. It didn't come with any manual, but again, in this generation, you never know if it actually came with a manual or not. This is actually in almost brand new condition. Happy about that. This person's definitely getting positive feedback because not only did they send it in a bubble mailer, because some people don't do that and the games get damaged. This is actually, I was going to say, in better condition 
than the one I bought from the retailer. Now, here's a game that I passed on because of not really hearing about it and the price, and I thought for sure I can get it cheaper somewhere else, and I was right. Oh no. See that right there? So, a little bit of damage. Happy to have that one. Last package. This is not the price I paid for, and no, I didn't get it from this game store. This is another person who had bought it online. Yet another game that was recommended to me. I'm always looking for recommendations for the Xbox One because I am brand new to this. Oh, I got a three-day gold trial. wonder if he redeemed that. But anyway, I'm always looking for recommendations for the Xbox One because I am new to the console. I'm not really sure about exclusives. Uh, this is from Microsoft Studios, so I'm assuming this came out for Xbox One Windows, probably not other consoles. So I'm always looking for games that are either better on the Xbox One or are cheaper on the Xbox One or just games that are I should collect for that system because I don't really have a lot for it, so I'm just trying to get what I can when I can. But yeah, this is everything I got so far. I'm very pleased so far with what I got, but there are more games coming. So we'll have to take a look at those here in a little bit as well. I figured my PlayStation Vita collection could need some attention. I haven't really gotten anything for it for a while. And what's funny is I actually own this game already through PlayStation Plus. But it is unfortunately going to be going away eventually. And I don't have it downloaded because the PlayStation Vita memory cards are so... No, maybe not. Are so uh, proprietary and hard to find. Next I have Women's Electronic Symphony. I think I'm pronouncing that right, or is that Lou Mines? Wanted to get this just because it's been featured a lot. And I like portable puzzle games, like Tetris style games, so this will get some fair use. And, what's this thing have? It does. It has printing on the other side of the... Huh. It's kind of funny, nobody would ever see that. And then lastly I have Unit 13, although I didn't pay that price. And I don't know anything about this except for it was cheap and somewhat recommended. You need the rear touch screen pad and the microphone, so eventually I do have the PlayStation TV. I will have to see which of these games work on the PlayStation TV and which of them don't. All right, another day, another shipment of deliveries. And you can see here it's kind of mid-morning at the moment because I have sunlight coming in. So that's not a pattern on my towel that is Actual real sunlight coming in through the blinds, so this is Just Dance Kids 2014. Wiimote is required. Oh yeah, because the Wii U came with a gamepad, you had to use, I guess presumably one of your leftover Wii remotes to actually play this game. You can understand exactly what you're going, oh yeah, that disc is in. Alright, and next we have this blue package. I think I've ever seen one of these. I like that people spend the money on making their envelopes like designer. I had a couple of them that had like a custom print on it, or maybe just like a, maybe not a custom print, but a fancy print. Two seconds of glory here. I'd rather save money on shipping myself and pass that savings on to the consumer or the person buying my stuff. Oh, here we go. This is Borderlands for the PlayStation 3. And I like that this has the old PS3 logo on it. I know a lot of people that bugs people when they do that, because there's a Greatest Hits version of this that does not have that. Game manual, Blu-ray disc, and I was kind of curious about this because look at the disc. Here, you can actually see my kitchen ceiling here. It says PS3 on the disc, but on the front, it's got the old PlayStation 3 logo like it should. So it made me initially think that this is not the right disc for this case, but it has to be. Let me show you another disc of how that's supposed to look. See how that looks different? It actually has the word PlayStation 3 spelled out. So if I again compare that to the other disc, it's just kind of strange that they switched to the PS3 design there, but on the disc and the case and the artwork, it still has the old PlayStation 3 logo. Another plain package. Here I have 
Scribblenauts Unmasked, a DC Comics Adventure. This is another one missing from my Wii U collection. Comes with a manual. And I don't know anything about what Scribblenauts is. I just like the DC theme of this, where they have like the Joker and Batman. And for now, that's it for this shipment. And we have... This is Cabela's Survival. Shadows of... I'm going to say Katmai. Next, we have one of these nice mailers with a... And these are from a retailer. So these are two more games that were recommended from that other YouTuber. Crayola Scoot and Bridge Portal Constructor. These were cheap on the retailer site that I got them, so I saw them grab them. These are brand new, not used. All right, well, this is the first of my GameStop finds, and unfortunately, as I suspected, it does not have the original case and artwork. Oh, well, can't win them all. So then I'm assuming the rest of these are going to be from that same retailer. So let's go ahead and try this out. Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate in the original case. Very happy to see that. Next I got The Surge. And this one was just cheap. I decided to get it because I don't have too many games for the Xbox One. That is definitely some sort of scratch. Oh no, wait, never mind. Rubs off with my thumb. Next I have Red Out. Looks like Light Speed Edition. Race faster than ever. And GameStop was doing a buy so many, get so many free, so I decided to go ahead and grab this game as well. This game is Rad Rogers. This one did not show up as one that was recommended to me, but I was curious about the THQ Nordic. Because if I'm right, yeah, I don't think this is like a full-fledged AAA title. It may have been download that they also released on physical for some people who want it. Then I have Payday Crime Wave Edition. Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition. Oh, look at that. A little bit left to be desired from the case there. Mother Gunship, which I'm very glad came with the case because this was the cheapest I'd seen it, was through this retailer. And the bottom of the barrel I've got Micro Machines World Series. It was cheap, so I guess I'm not too upset that they don't have the original case for it, but I may still try to go in and see if they can do that, get that for me. So aside from the first three titles here, these were purchased from a retailer. The PS3 was purchased from a person on eBay that decided to ship it more expensively through UPS. And the rest of these are all games that I ordered through GameStop that all came with the original cases with a little bit of damage. And this one is not even in the best shape. Look at that. I don't know, maybe I'm too much of a stickler on that. But all right, so that is actually only a fraction of the games I've been able to get. There's actually been a lot of game stores, some of which I live near and some are just popping up online trying to survive, that are heavily discounting some games. A lot of them are from that PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Wii generation, but even some of the games that aren't that popular or just need to be cleared out because the next gen's coming, that's all starting to take place as well. And this is actually the best time to game collect for these systems you'll be able to find a whole bunch of games for relatively cheap. But one thing I've often been asked, and one thing I've wondered myself, is just because these games are being clearanced out, does that necessarily make them bad games? Or are there good games in this bunch that I've collected? Well, to try to answer that question, I am going to be featuring some of the games I collected in this video in my next live stream. There are details for that in the description below, or you can follow me on social media where I always post when I'm going to do live streams. And of course, if this stream has already taken place, there will be a link to it at the end of this video and down in the description if you want to check out these games any further. So in this case, I'm actually referring to retro games being games that are for systems that are no longer being supported. The Wii U, the PlayStation 3, those have all been dropped, but the Xbox One is pretty much being discontinued as we speak as the Xbox One X has officially stopped production. And of course, this is in anticipation for the next generation of video games coming. So even though these games aren't technically retro yet, this is the perfect time for me to collect for them. The problem has been, how do I continue to collect these games without being able to go to these brick and mortar stores that are trying to clear out their stock? And I think a lot of people have issues with trying to collect games online, and I am one of those people. Part of my issue is when you try to order from places like GameStop, you don't know what the condition of the game is that you are going to get. If you really care about getting the game case and the manual with the original artwork in perfect condition, 
this is not recommended to you. I think the only place I can really tell you that's reliable enough to let you know if you're gonna get everything in the condition you want is probably eBay. Now, I can't say for sure that, yes, you're gonna get exactly what you ordered on eBay because I can't speak for all the different sellers that are on there. But what I can tell you is they can actually feature pictures of the item you are going to get. And that is the only way you're gonna know for sure. GameStop doesn't care. Whatever was on the shelf when they grabbed it, that's what you're getting. There's actually another store in my area that I have actually featured in my retro game hunting videos that has switched all their stuff online, and for the first time, I'm actually going to be ordering games online from them. Unfortunately, as of the recording of this video, those haven't arrived yet, so I do have some more games coming and some other shipments from different retailers, different websites that I've purchased that just haven't shown up yet. And of course, if you are going to order retro games from different people online, you do want to follow the guidelines for getting shipment packages into your home, especially because of the times that we're living in right now. What I'm doing is I'm letting the packages sit in a designated area for 48 to 72 hours, two to three days, and then before I open them, I wipe them down with some sort of sterilizing towel. I strongly recommend that if you're going to try to collect retro games during this time, you do check out some of those guidelines on how to handle shipments to your home to make sure that you keep yourself and your family safe. That said, that actually does wrap it up for this video. Remember, if you like what you see, please hit that like button. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you liked about today's video. Also, let me know if you'd like to see another one of these videos where I showcase more of the games I'm finding during the stay-at-home orders and store closures. Also, don't forget that I have that live stream coming up where I'm going to feature some of the games shown in today's video. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned because I have more content coming. I will see you in the next one. If you like this video and you'd like to help out with future projects on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Also, if you enjoy the content of this channel, please remember to click on this subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.